Now, it's time for gripping action from the basement archives of The Vice Squad. Hi, and welcome to Vice Squad. The show devoted entirely to crushing stuff in Dad's vice. You'd be surprised at how many cast-off household items can be forever changed by this merry gadget. Stuff like action figures, eight track players, paint cans, preferably full ones, even diamonds, the hardest substance known to man. Make unique and decorative curios. Perfect for those last-minute Mother's Day gifts. And best of all, no matter how cruddy it looks, Mom will love it because you took the time to make it yourself. But remember, kids, safety first. Always make sure to use Dad's protective eyewear. Hey, what's this? I can't read a darn thing with these goggles on. Oh, well. Oh, are you okay, little pal? I'm wearing Dad's goggles, aren't I? On second thought, don't try this at home, kids. Leave it to professional boneheads. That's all for now, kids. See you next time. Call an ambulance. Looking back on it now, trying to keep an alligator as a family pet probably wasn't a good idea. Even something as simple as washing for dinner became a big production. He just wasn't acting like his old self. Not like when he was just a guppy, anyway. Yeah, I'll never forget the first time we laid eyes on the little guy. We were doing a little light housekeeping down in the sub-basement of Solitude, when after a mishap or two with the work vac, Max accidentally sucked something out of the porcelain hobby horse. Looky there, Sam. We caught us a life form. It appears to have all the characteristic markings of a neonatal alligator. He's fine, he is. Hello, Dale, little fella. Oh, hello, hello. Since when do you do Elmer Fudd? Look, Sam, he's about to wrestle open his translucent peepers. Then it's high time I told you about imprinting, Max. You see, the very first experiences of any newborn thingy go a long way to determining who that creature will bond with and trust. Or conversely, loathe and despise. Congratulations, little pal. <laughs> he thinks you're his mommy. You mean we can take him home and raise him as our own? We were young and foolish. Just kids ourselves, really. What did we know about the care and feeding of infant wildlife? Sure. How hard can it be? I'll name him John, since that's where we found him. And so began our longest journey together. Sam, can you give me a hand in here? It's time for another diaper change. Boy, I don't know what we'd do without these things. Me neither. I barely have time to think, let alone tend to my own needs. Yeah, who'd have thought taking care of something that depends on you for its very existence could be so much work? He hasn't stopped bawling or spewing or having happy little accidents since we got home. I wonder which vaccine him so. What's the matter, little fella? Are you bored? Are you sleepy? Are you sensing my desire to turn you into a quiet little handbag? Max. Sorry. I think he's hungry. He hasn't eaten a thing. And I've tried everything. Have you tried the spaghetti carbonara? I'm dying. Sure, on the outside, we try to appear all ha-ha and fancy-free. But on the inside, we were a threadbare bundle of nerves and organs. Little John wouldn't eat. <laughs> I'm worried, Sam. What do you suppose little gators eat? Hmm. Hold on a second. Well, let's see now. Albacore, albatross, alley cat, al gore. <laughs> Here it is. Alligator. According to this, baby gators can only thrive on a diet of worms, insects, and rare swamp larvae. I like mine medium rare, with just a trace of pink. Should I check the sink traps? No. For this type of bug hunting, we need someplace thick with moisture and tropical heat. Okay, I'll check my spit valve. <gasps>
It's off to the wetlands. Well, here we are in a little-known inner-city bayou, painstakingly gathering insectoid sustenance for our infant charge. Putting boots and hammers to the feisty bigger ones. Looks like we have an ample supply of warm, savory bugs for our little Johnny to feast on, Max. Let's render them into a smooth, enriched paste without delay. And voila! Baby gator food a la Sam und Max. Our little John is about to take his first few pensive mouthfuls. I'll get the kid, you get the camera. Hey, he's still not eating. What gives? Maybe it's too hot. Hmm, there is a slight burning sensation. That's just the venom. Then what's the matter? Why won't he eat? At that point, we were facing the very real possibility of losing a cherished family pet. Until the fickle finger of fate poked the Grim Reaper right in the eye. Yeah! That's it, Max. That's the answer. He'll only eat things off your finger. Like the first three layers of skin. Isn't it precious? He's still operating under the false assumption that you're his own fierce, leathery mommy. Must be your teeth. Mm, this feels right, Sam. I think I'm experiencing the heady bond that can only come from motherhood. Or loss of blood. Look at him go! <laughs> at this rate, he'll be onto solid foods in no time. Good. All this arm, hair, and muscle tissue can't be good for him. That's the last of it. Not quite. There's still some bean dip. I mean the sensation in my arm. <laughs> <laughs> the crisis was over. Little John was gonna be okay. Over the next few months, John and I cavorted and frolicked and gambled as only an alligator and his surrogate mother, who also happens to be a biped rabbity thing, could. And in what seemed like a blink of an eye, Little John became Big John. What was once a cute, cartoony lizard baby wiggling around on the rug was now a full-grown, ten-foot, foul-tempered, primeval killing machine. And we loved him so. My oh. hamsters are missing. All eyes turned to John, but of course she had no proof. This pet of yours has to go. You can't expect a full-grown alligator to adapt to your lifestyle. Nobody can adapt to your lifestyle. The geek was right. Soon after, we started noticing a difference in John. He started acting distant, uncommunicative, depressed. He'd taken to sleeping with his ear to the toilet. And acting fiercely protective of an old pair of alligator brogues. We were very concerned. That's why we've come to you, Doctor. Can you shed some light on what the problem might be? He's an alligator! You can't keep a vicious animal in the city! There are laws! I see. And your professional recommendation? Get rid of him! <laughs> Well, you heard him, Max. Clearly, John is suffering what's known as captivity syndrome, a none-too-common occurrence which manifests itself when one takes a wild animal away from its natural habitat. The way I see it, there's two ways we can do this. We can either set John free, or we can send him to a zoo, where he'll be fed and pampered and encouraged to lord over many submissive female gators. No, Sam. No zoos! John was born free, and he must remain free. As free as the wind blows. As free as the grass grows? That too. John belongs with others of his kind. If we have to let him go, we'll let him go back to the wilds from whence he came. What are you doing? Returning John to the life he once knew. To the wilds of the sewer system, silly. Alligators don't come from sewers. They come from Florida. Florida! I don't think John's feeling all that well, Sam. He won't eat any cheese chuckles or chalky chubbies or chili chomps. My guess is he's either car sick or he's allergic to the CH food group. Maybe he's just anxious about moving to a new place. This must be the place. See if you can coax him out of there, Max. Cha -cha! You see, he's blending right in. I think our John will be very happy here. <sighs> they grow up so fast. Yeah, 
Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, it's okay. There, there, big guy. Yep, we'll get right on it. That was the high-pitched squeal of the commissioner, Max. He says our heart-wrenching story has moved him to tears and that there's dirty dealings on the banks of Old Man River. Looks like we're bammy bound. We visited John many times after that. And not just because he swallowed our shields and we were waiting for nature to do its thing. But because even though John was back with his own kind, he'd always be our special gator. You choked me up, little buddy. Which one was he again? <laughs>